Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, um, we are almost closing out September. Um, today is 31. Yeah, day 31. It is a Tuesday, I believe. I don't know what the date is. It is the 26th of September. And in two more days, on the Thursday the 28th, we will finally be reviewing the Daily Bugle. Um, in a previous episode, you might have saw it get absolutely destroyed. Um, not absolutely destroyed, but um, minor destroyed. Um, by the tripod that my phone is being held up by right now. Um, that was in, I think, day 29. Um, because I've recorded day 25 through now 31 on the same day um i did change shirts because i took a shower in between but yeah it's been sitting next to me this whole time it's not like i've been dragging it out here every day but yeah today is a big one and i figured i would close out september with a pretty big build and then or i would like somewhat close out september with a pretty big build then I would fully close out September with the biggest build. And then, um, right before, um, what's it called? Right before Spookathon, which Spookathon, FYI, for your information, has been officially put on the calendar. It is, the day one of Spookathon is going to be Monday the 16th of October. Day two is going to be Wednesday the 18th of October, and day three is going to be Friday, the tw 20th of October. That might change. I might do day one on Friday, the 13th. Oh, that's nice. Um, but yeah, I might do that. Either way, it is in there. Boom, boom, and boom. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it will be uploaded. Of course, I haven't recorded it yet. I'm not taking out um, holiday stuff yet. I'm recording this on September 2nd. So, yeah. It's still really early. <clears throat> yeah, a spirit Halloween has already popped up in my town, which is crazy. Um, but we're not talking about spirit Halloween or Halloween or Spookathon. We are talking about the Jazz Club, the newest modular um, in the bunch. And, um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So here is the Jazz Club. It is three stories tall. Um, so the Jazz Club itself is the, um, so this area right here is the actual Jazz Club. Um, and then this area off to the side is yellow part is actually a pizzeria which i think is cool because we don't really get restaurants often um in modular building form most time we we always get them in lego city form when they're like open back and all that stuff which we don't really like same with friends um for example there is one that ooh. We will see later on in the series the grocery store, but it's an open back. So it's not as cool as it could have been because of the open back. <coughs> anyway, um, so I feel like when we do get restaurants in this form, it's really cool to see. Um... I think the last time we got one like this was um, the police station. And that was in 2021. And it had a little donut shop off, off to the side. And I mean, of course there was a Parisian restaurant and that was the whole thing was a restaurant or the first floor at least. It's not like we've never gotten restaurants. 
I don't know what just happened to my camera. Um, I'm trying to think of what else that I have in my Lego City. Oh, Assembly Square has a couple um, things, a couple shops in there with some food. There's the cake store. Anyway, it doesn't really matter in the end because we are not looking at any of those food stores. We are looking at this food store and this jazz club. And what is this shit jazz store? Um, so first we are going to look at the minifigures and um, then we are going to look at the building itself. Now the minifigs are off in a pile over here. Um, so yeah, let me grab my tool real quick. So yeah, let's look at the figures. So here is the first figure. Um, I think she is the magician. Hold on, let me get, let me get the band together. Yeah, she is the magician and she has a bunny. I can't find the bunny at the moment. So the bunny kind of ran away. And then she also comes with a couple other accessories, but we'll look at those in a minute. So she has a, um, a, hold on. I'm really sorry guys. Okay, so she has like a really nice suit on, no tie, and then there is no leg printing. And then if we look on the back, hold on. There is some more printing on the back there. Um, so yeah. And then she does not have an alternate face. That's a shame. And then her accessories were, of course, the bunny. And then she has a hat with flowers. And then she also has this, like, thing where it's, like, you put it in your hand and, like, it's a string that never ends. But, of course, it does end. You just don't see it. it just, like, keeps on repeating itself. All right. Next up is, let's see... Who should I do next? I'm gonna do the pizza boy. Okay, so let's put him on his little, his little. Yeah, sometimes my tool is really nice and sometimes it really isn't. Also, why is your hair crooked? And you aren't even centered. Oh, it's because I bumped it with my chair. That's all on me. All right, so here is the pizza boy. He also comes with a helmet and, of course, a bike. Um, but he has some really nice torso printing. I love this torso print. And let's, um, he has no leg printing. So let's check out the back. On the back, he has a little bit of wrinkles and he does not have an alternate face that's a shame oh for two. Oh, and then here's his bike next up is the chef we love the chef I'll zoom out a tiny bit for you guys. All right, so there is the chef. I love, love, love his outfit. I love his little apron. It is so adorable. Um, I also really, really like his little neckerchief. And of course his chef's hat. And of course he can't have an alternate face because there's anything on there. And then he has a teeny little back part on the back of the neckerchief. Then we have the lead singer. And 
she is like 10 out of 10 once she stops like moving there we go look at that dress the oh my god this figure man 10 out of 10 figure i absolutely love this figure just like how i love that cat fender fender i know it doesn't seem like it but he loves me too fender okay um anyway <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, I guess my cat doesn't love me as much as I thought. Um, she has a beautiful dress on. I love this dress. The figures in this set are just amazing, especially this one. Her facial expression is amazing. She has an amazing necklace on. It's so beautiful. The only downside is, never mind, she does have back printing. It eat. It even contain focus, please. Thank you. It even continues on to the what the hello help. It was it was it was perfect. I don't what happened. Okay. Um. Uh, anyway, it why is it not clear? Oh, that's so trippy. It switches cameras. Why? Sometimes, man, the iPhone makes me so mad. Anyway, her dress is just so beautiful. And she does have an alternate face. One for four. She has a happy face. And then she has her, um, like, really happy face. Next up, we have the, um, hold on lead what is this base oh my god am i not gonna get this i feel like i can't get this but anyway here he is he is packed he's he's got a lot of stuff going so he's got like not a violin he's got something way bigger um got like a big base i think and his torso print is really cool too even though it's like partly being blocked but i don't really care it's still a really good torso print normally i don't really bother with figures but these torso prints man are really cool they aren't basic the leg prints are pretty basic but i don't really care except for the last one this one 10 out of 10 Although we oh my god did it just reflect in the light What well, kind of dies, but like, it doesn't shimmer the way I thought it would. Okay, anyway. Um, he has an earpiece in, if you're wondering what that was. And then, that's his accessory right there. And then on the back, he's got his, his case, since he is just walking into the jazz club. But when you take off the case, you can see it is his back torso is still blocked. But you can see if you really zoom in, um, like right there, that there's printing. So we know he might have a good torso. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop this back on there. My dog's about to go crazy. Someone just got home. Uh-oh. Their ears just rose. Oh! Uh, hold on. Alright. So, the next figure is the tailor. Um, he has a pair of shears with him. He is wearing some overalls and a tie. And then, if we check out his back side, he does not have an alternate face. But he does, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. He, oh, God. 
he does have some back printing. It is the back of the overalls. That shouldn't have been so hard. Okay, anyway, next up is the final member of the band. This is the drummer. Her drumsticks are inside on her drum. And she um, has the same torso as the orchestra player. Oh my god. The... I forget what it's called. He has the same torso as this guy. Pretty similar. Um, actually, exact. Um, so I'm assuming the back is the same. Yep. So. And she does not have an alternate face. And last but not least, we have a random pedestrian. So, she, um... Actually, she might work in the garden. Hold on. Um, nope, she is the owner of the jazz club. So she actually does all the bookings for all of the, um, like, shows. So if you want to book a show, if you want to perform at the jazz club, then you'd have to go to the second floor and see her. She has a nice torso print. And let's check out the back. There's the back. And she does not have an alternate face. So one for eight. That's a bad. All right, so now let's get into the actual building. Okay, so here is the first floor. And here is the outside of the first floor. Um, there is a couple things that we need to go over before we get to the inside. Ooh, dude, my camera. Oh, that's crazy. Um, so the first thing is there is a lamppost, like there is on every modular. There is a delivery, a pizza delivery, um, like, not Vespa, but like, um, motorcycle so that they can deliver. There's also a, um, what's it called? A, like, a table with two chairs and an umbrella. And then there is some greenery off to the right inside the pizzeria, pizzeria area. And then if you look above the umbrella, it's not, like, physically above, but behind it, there's a Taylor sign, and it says it was established... 1932. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's a concert saying jazz concert every Friday live music. And then on the jazz club sign at the bottom, it says live music all night and magic shows on both sides. And we do have a mini figure that performs magic and three mini figures that perform as a band. So I think that is pretty cool. Then if you turn over here, you will notice there's a pink door and that leads upstairs. So that is one of the rooms. And then this second room we'll go over next. Um, it has two little, um, what are these called? Canopies? Sure. We'll go with canopies. Two little canopies guarding one of the door, guarding the door, and then the window. And then, if we give a little look inside, you can see that there is a L-shaped um, desk. Well, I guess for you guys, it's a C. And then there are a couple figures in there, um, the the delivery boy and then the chef. 
and then if I turn it around, you will see some, a couple things. And I'm actually gonna take my phone off the tripod for this. So the first thing you will notice is that there is an oven and then there's a shelf with some spices and then there is a um, vent. And then if we get down in here, really get down in here, um, and look through the door, you can see, here, I'll just do it this way, top view. Um, all right, top view. So you can see right there that there's a cash register. Um, I'm not sure what these are, there's a pizza, there's dough, sauce, and then there's some other stuff. And then it is connected, so they get free jazz music, and they can watch the show all the time. So I think that is pretty cool on their part. Um, if you're wondering what that door is, we'll get to that in a second. Um, there's only like one thing in this section, and it is the main stage there are six seats there are three figures in here and we already went over all the figures so each table has a wine glass and two seats to go with it and then there is the stage itself and it has the drums and the saxophone holder with the saxophone on it at all times so that is pretty cool and then you, there's a better look at the stairwell there's a back door. And then in this room, this is a little bathroom. And I thought that was pretty nifty because we never get bathrooms in modular sets. And then looking back on the outside, there's a little ticket, ticket booth right in there. And then there's the door to enter. So yeah, that is the first floor. Okay, so this floor is also broken up into two sections. We have the uh, jazz club section and then the pizzeria section, or in this case, it's the tailor section. But um, if you remove these two tiles, then you can actually pull apart the two parts because they are held together with these Technic pins. So that is how we are going to do it today. We're gonna go with one part and then the other. We're gonna start with the tailor. And I'm also going to remove that. Just so we can really see in here. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is on the back wall where there is a mannequin so that he can like actually put the clothes on there. And then there's also his fabric. And then there's the chimney coming up still. And then there's a lamp. And then over here, there's the actual sewing machine. And then there's the tailor himself. So yeah, this part is pretty basic. And then, let me put this part back. And then, boom, let me, let, now, the facade is really cool because there's these three potted plants. And those are really pretty. And then there's these two windows. And then these parts are really pretty too. So, overall, a really pretty part of the build. Um... So yeah, let's get into the um, next part. This is like the office where you would book, where you um, like would book your visit to the jazz club, like if you want to perform. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So on the outside, there is a big window in the front and then two stained glass in the middle. There's a little flower plot over there. And there's these bricks on the side. 
On the inside, this part is open so that they can easily see in here the people who are performing down below um, in the first floor. And then if we turn it this way, you can see more. There's a little art on the wall. There's the desk with two chairs, a phone, and a lamp. There's a record player in the back, probably playing jazz music. And then there's the stairwell. That was like a really quick breakdown. Oh, and then in the back here, there's a little balcony where you can walk out if you want. Ugh. And then there's these two windows in the back too that also open. So yeah, let's add the first, or let's add the second floor onto the first floor. And now let's get started on the third floor. Now before, you had a choice if you wanted it separated or connected, but in this case, you have to have it disconnected. So we are also going to start with the pizzeria side. On this side, there is nothing much. There is a nice, nothing much other than the garden. There is a nice little facade on the front. There is the top of the chimney, and then there's the garden. They're growing some tomatoes carrots and other plants the roof can open which is pretty cool and then um yeah it's pretty closed in um i really like this build and it looks really cool on the top so we will take a look at that roof in a second but for now we're just gonna look at the actual interior of the third floor so this floor is all about like the dressing rooms so you can actually get ready for your show because no one wants to do that like in the bathroom on the first floor you know if you know you know um there's some more stained glass windows there's this little bit there's a curved top because at that point this a little bit would have stopped it'll stop like about here so it'll like work with it it'll actually look pretty cool and then um there's another plant on this window and then there's like bricks on each side and then there's this bits and these bits so pretty cool then over here there is a ladder so you can get onto the roof and then there's a door over here to get onto the other roof that was the garden and then there's a railing there's a plant there's three windows that open outward like that over here there's an actual mirror um with lights on it and there's drawers and a chair there's the big window and the stained glass window then there's a couch a box some music for her to sing and then there's a music note art in the back which i think is really cool All right, so now moving on to the roof. Um, moving on to the roof, this is from, um, this is like a really cool roof, in my opinion. Like the facade is really cool. I have pieces coming off. Oh my God, that's not cool. Um, but like the te the angles, is really cool. I love how all this is looking. Ugh, there we go. It looks so dang cool. And then on the top, there's the hatch that opens up. And then there's steps down. And then there's a little squirrel's nest on the top. And that is the Jazz Club. So, let me know if you think I missed anything. Um... If there's anything you want me to re-go over, down in the comments below. But yeah. So that was the most recent modular. And then in January, there will be a, another modular. 
that will release. So that is a really cool line that has continued thing since I think 2006, 2005, 2007, one of those three. Um, but yeah, really cool. This is the latest one, and I can't wait for the next one on January 1st. Um, but I will see you guys, hopefully, in two days on Thursday when we will be reviewing the Daily Bugle. And he will be there too. Probably. He probably will. Um, so yeah, the Daily Bugle review coming soon. Um, yeah, so that will be the last video of September. And then the first Tuesday in October, I will not be posting. That's because, um, so hold on here. Let me explain this to you guys. The first, so Tuesday the 3rd, I will not be post. Tuesday the 3rd of October, I will not be posting because I will be posting on the 1st of, um, I'll be posting on Sunday the 1st. So it'll be on Sunday I'll post, then on Thursday I'll post. That's how October's gonna go. So it'll be the 1st, 5th, and then we'll go back to our normal schedule of every Tuesday and Thursday. So, um, yeah, but then also, so this schedule's kinda wonky. So it's gonna be the 1st, the 5th, the 10th, the 12th, and then 16th, 18th, and 20th for, um, Spookathon, and then we'll go back to our normal schedule for the 24th, the 27th, and the 31st. And the 31st, I'm not gonna upload, like, a Halloween special. I'll probably, I'll probably show off Spookathon in that video, but, um, yeah. And then, in, like, halfway through November, you will see, um, the Winter Village pop-up, or my Winter Wonderland, which we will have a couple new buildings in, so that's exciting. So, yeah, I'm really planning ahead, because I'm recording the, all, all of this, everything I've recorded for this month, everything from my updates video to this was all recorded on the updates day. So, day 25 to... 31 was all recorded on September 2nd, along with my updates video. Um, so, yeah, that's, like, crazy. That's a lot of recording in one day. And then tomorrow, the 3rd of September, I'm going to do more recording. So, that's even more crazy. So, yeah, I'm really filming in advance. But, yeah, that is all I have for this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, peace out. See you in the nearby future.